be? Hello, my name is Michael McDaniel, and I'm the president of Millennium Bible Institute. If you're a believer in Jesus Christ, I want to talk to you about one of the most exciting things that you will ever hear. Have you ever thought that there might be more to the Christian life than you've been experiencing? Have you ever wondered just how practical and relevant the Bible is for today? And would you like to see your Christian life go to the next level? Well, if so, then please stay tuned for just a few more minutes, and I want to tell you about something that I think is incredible. Once we have trusted Jesus Christ as our all-sufficient Savior, we're part of the family of God. We've been made sons of God, and, and I think almost everyone knows that. But did you know that in connection with your sanctification, there is a whole nother level in which you are a son of God? Now, we call this sonship. And it will not only change the way that you live in this world, it will impact your eternity as well. So to introduce this topic, let me show you a couple of verses here in uh, Romans chapter 8. Look with me in verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. In the book of Romans, the Apostle Paul introduces the issue of our adoption. And he tells us that we've received the spirit of adoption. Now this is a very important subject, and I think a very exciting one. So what does it mean to have been adopted. Well, when the Bible talks about adoption, it's talking about it very differently from the way we practice or think about adoption here in this Western culture. Today, uh, maybe a, a couple that can't have kids on their own would adopt so that they could have children. Or maybe uh, a child is orphaned and someone would like to bring that child in and give them a better life. And there's nothing wrong with those things and certainly uh, that's how we view adoption today. Uh, but look, that's not what's going on when the Bible talks about adoption. When the Bible talks about our Heavenly Father adopting us, He is talking about the purpose that He had when He saved us. I know a lot of people think that the reason God sent His Son in the world is so that we could be saved and have our sins forgiven. That, that's not untrue. It just doesn't go far enough. Of course uh, He wants to do that. But he must do that in order to accomplish his real purpose. And that is so that we could receive something more than just the forgiveness of sins. Look with me in Galatians chapter 4 beginning in verse 4. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Biblical adoption is the purpose behind God sending forth His Son. Certainly, He came into this world to redeem mankind. But as we can see, God had a purpose even with that redemption. It was not an end, but it was a means to an end. So if God sent His Son so that we could receive the adoption, what is biblical adoption? Well, in the Greco-Roman and Hebrew cultures... It was common for a father to adopt his natural born children. Why? Well, because the father is looking for an heir for the family business. A father would look out among his own sons and daughters and he would look to determine which one of those was suitable and desirous to go to work with him in the family business. Now, upon their consent, there would be an adoption ceremony and that'd be where uh, all the family members would be invited. Friends of the family would be invited. The customers of the family business would be invited. The other businesses, business associates would all be invited to this adoption ceremony. And in front of them all, this child is now declared to be an adult and part of the family business. Following that ceremony, the father would take over their education by taking them to work with him and teaching him his wisdom in the family business. The intent was that one day that son or daughter would do the same with one of their kids and continue that business on. Now, when our Heavenly Father adopts us, it's for the same purpose, to educate us and train us in His business. Of course, the big difference is He's not going to die one day and leave the business to us, 
but we'll have the privilege of working with him in his business throughout eternity. Now, I don't know about you, but when I discovered that I could work alongside my heavenly father in the things that he is doing now in this world, and that was actually training me to labor with him uh, in eternity throughout the ages to come, I was very excited. And then when I learned that God wanted to instill his wisdom in my inner man and conform me to the image of his son, I could think of nothing that I wanted more. I'm going to tell you, it changed my life in so many ways. And not just mine, but there are people all over the world who are being transformed by this understanding in Paul's epistles. Now listen, there's a lot more to it than this. In this short video, I've just used this introduction to adoption to kind of whet your appetite a little bit. If you have trusted Jesus Christ as your all-sufficient Savior, this is what you have been waiting for. And I would love to tell you about it. To do that, we have put together a Bible course to explain all about this. The course is absolutely free. You can email us or you can call us and just say that you want the Sonship Orientation Bible course. And we'll send you a link to your email and you'll be able to watch the video for the entire course. You can do it on your own time, you can do it at your own pace and if you have any questions, you contact us and we have staff members standing by that are ready to answer your questions. Again, all you need to do is contact us by phone or email and tell us, I want the Sonship Orientation Bible course. It's absolutely free. We'll send that link to your email and you'll get full access to the course. And after you've watched this course, if you would like to begin this exciting journey in your Bible, then just contact us and we'll show you what's next. So you can phone us at a toll free at 888-605-605. 3202, or you can email us at mbistudiesstaff at gmail.com. Ask for the Sonship Orientation Bible course. Thanks for listening, and I hope to hear from you soon.